Hello everyone, this is Mr. Kotorex, and we're back at Wright and Co. Law Offices. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of lag. Oh, there it goes. That fixed it. So, we gotta figure out who did it. Best way to do it, go to the main studio. Ah! <laughs> All right. Huh. Probably need to clear out some of my room on my computer. I think it's starting to get full. <laughs> oh, sorry about being a little bit quiet, but, um. Hey, that is true, though! Yeah, I would. Okay, so, nothing else from her. Let's try the employee area, shall we? Eh, yeah, maybe later. Yes, it is. Hey! Yeah, seriously. Uh. How are you doing that? Thank you. Uh-huh. Huh. Neat. So we have proof now that someone was indeed drugged. But we've proven it's not him! Okay. So there we have it. We have proof positive.
Is someone in here? Or is this just gonna be... Nope, no one in here. So, no reason to be in here. Right. Uh, if you want, you can talk to him again. I've already talked to him all I need to. Alright. So let's try moving to Outside Studio One. See if there's anyone here. Maybe. Uh-huh. Well, we gotta find out, so let's go to Studio 2. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's Bitch Pants. And there's my first swear of this Let's Play. And my only one, actually, surprisingly. Dang! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Here. Sheesh. What about Will Powers? Wow. Ah, oh dear. Sheesh. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> so, we don't have anything we ha can do. Can't present anything with that. So I can't present any evidence. Oh. That's why I can't present any evidence. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Okay, so. Let's go try talking to, uh... We, we, we literally can't do anything. I just wanted to do that for fun. Uh, let's go try talking to Old Bag again. Oh, nothing there. Um... Present. Oh, yeah, she was saying how... Gee. All right, let's go back to the Right Co. Law Office. Let's talk to Mia here, or Maya. Okay, Steel Samurai. Okay, the director's alibi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what about any ideas?
Alright, so she basically gave us a hint, maybe we should go back to William Powers. He might give us something we need. Yeah, if you ever get stuck, you go back to the law office, and you'll ask, uh, you ask her, like, what do you think, or what should we do, or whatever, and she'll give you a, your hint. Yeah, seriously. Alright. So let's talk to William Powers. Tell us about the producer. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. And hmm. yeah, tell us something about him. Wow. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay, what about Mr. Hammer? Wow, really? Huh, neat. Huh. Five years ago. So now we have a clue. Something happened five years ago. But we don't know what. Let's ask around. Well, she won't tell us anything. But we do have one more clue. We know that uh, Miss... What's her name? Uh, oh, whatever, whatever the heck her name is. She came to Global Studios about five years ago. Can we talk to you about it? No. No, we cannot. Well, we don't have anything we can do here. We can't go into there. This is usually the part where I actually do get a bit stuck. So, let's go to Wright Co. Law Offices and talk to me, um, her again. Any ideas? Well, I've already talked to Will Powers, so I don't know what else I could do. But let's go back to the detention center anyways. Alright. So as you can see, I've cleared out all of this. Let's try presenting him the pill bottle. Okay, how about this? <sighs> All right. So, at the moment, we don't know what we're supposed to be doing, because we've exhausted basically all everything. So, when you do this, just like in the... Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Let's go back to the employee area. Let's try talking to Dick Gumshoe again. Nope, nothing. Maybe going back into the dressing room. There we go. Uh, why? No. Well, then again, the villain is dead, so yeah.
Grimmer. Huh. So that means that she had something over Hammer that happened five years ago. Huh, weird. Studio policy. Jeez. Yeah, like I do every time. Uh, every time uh, one of the common riders ends, I have to find a new one to watch. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, tell me about this a accident five years ago. Okay. Huh. So, hammers... So Hammer basically was a murderer five years ago. And she basically managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt that she has on Hammer. Sounds like we've got something to use against her now. She's worked here a long time, apparently. Alright, so, we now know where we need to go. We gotta go talk to Old Bag. Windy Old Bag. Well, there's only one thing I want to ask her, and that's about five years ago. Oh, gosh! Oh. Jeez. Yes, I have proof. Now, it's actually one of these two things. First, this. <sighs> then, this. We got her. I didn't want to get her this way, but we got her. Thank you.
Yeah. I see. Well, that's it. We now have the evidence we need to uh, to make her talk. Don't ask about it. Huh. Yes, she did. Hmm. I don't think so. <sighs> well... Let's go inside the trailer and hope everything turns out okay. Huh. Well, maybe. I wonder why. Okay. Wow. You know, she has a point. If it was an accident, yeah, I wouldn't have let anyone drag my name through the mud for that long. And I'm pretty sure, you know, talking to the press about it, even if it was an accident, yeah, he could have eventually gotten back up on his feet if it was an accident. But if he did it on purpose, if he actually killed the per person on purpose... Then that means that there's no reason why she couldn't have used that against him. Yo, sheesh. I think we're screwed. Professional what? Oh. Um. No, thank you. I'm a, I'm allergic to rubber. Yeah, seriously. All right, Dick Gumshoe. That's right, it will. Thanks for the save, Gumshoe. Wow. <laughs> He's a nice guy. I like Dick Gumshoe. Let's hope so. In better situations, hopefully.
So now we know who the killer is. Well, this has been a good episode. Next, uh, uh, next time, we'll finish this court case. We have to prove that she did it, and we have to prove that uh, Will Powers is absolutely 100% innocent. So if you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, leave a like so everyone can see these videos. And I think that's pretty much it. So this has been Mr. Kotorex. And remember, folks, there's no point being an adult if you can't act childish from time to time. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.